I have been a fan of comics since I was a child growing up in Wales. My grandmother bought me my first comic. I ended up becoming a professor of English at the U of O, in part because of how I responded to that material. When I was given the opportunity to curate the exhibition at Mopop, the largest and most comprehensive exhibition ever devoted to Marvel Comics, it was like a dream job. Sometimes people ask, why study comic books? For me, the real question is, why haven't we been studying comic books for longer? Really to not study comics is to neglect an extraordinary, powerful, rich, aesthetically compelling aspect of a creative culture. I decided to try and teach a class on the history of the superhero in part because it seemed to me that this was the least respectable comics material and I wanted to test whether it really could sustain close academic scrutiny. A character such as Superman, for example, has been around since the 1930s and has changed enormously since those times. The enemies in early Superman comics are what we might now think of as kind of the corrupt 1%. In order to teach that material, you have to teach people about Roosevelt era Great Depression politics. You end up teaching people about the history of the culture and the history of media through a character who they thought they knew, but it actually turns out they don't know very well at all. Precisely because comics are a commercial medium that can reach so many people, comics creators are often obligated to reflect upon current social events. I see the exhibition as an opportunity to speak to both fans and skeptics. One of the things that I hope to do is convince people that this is art that belongs on the walls of a museum and deserves to be taught in our classrooms. And that although this is a brand and a franchise, it's also material of enduring aesthetic and social significance.